Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nash and for today's video we are doing my first cash envelope stuffing for 2021. I'm really excited to kind of get back into the swing of things. I haven't been using cash for my variable expenses, which is the cash I'm mostly keeping in my wallet. I've kind of been keeping it in my checking account and I've noticed that I need to go back to stay on track. So that's what we'll be doing today. Plus, I decided to do a couple things with my sinking funds as well that we'll be sharing with you guys throughout the video. So let's hop right into it. But this is actually my bills slash sinking funds binder if you're interested in the little bundle that i offer for these you can check it out the link down below we'll put that aside for just a second i'm going to take the cash out so here is the cash that we're working with we have we'll just count it so we all know we have 50 100 we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So we have $343 that we're gonna be stuffing today and I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to lay out the money. Okay, so I have all the money laid out and I'll be sharing with you guys on the screen with me um, the breakdown of what each category will be getting just so I don't have to have so much on the table with me as I'm stuffing and like I mentioned we are going to get started with the actually the cash dividers that I keep in my wallet I have four in here that I keep in my wallet which are gas food fun and then my bank so starting off with gas it's going to be getting 50 so one thing i'm doing a little bit different is since this is the first stuffing of january i'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the entire month the first paycheck of the month so i can stay within that budget for the entire month so if the money is gone before my first paycheck of february then it's gone i can't use any more money from that category so for gas i've noticed that i've been like I haven't been needing that much gas and I haven't been having to fill up the tank as much. So 50 for the month should be just right. So we have 20, 40, 50. So we'll put that right there. And then we have food. This is the one that I struggled with, not gonna lie. But we're actually gonna be putting 70 into food. And I'm going to do three 20s and a 10. Actually, we'll do two fives. So, we have 20, 40, 60, 5, 70. $70 for food. For fun, I'm just gonna be putting 20, because this will definitely cover, we, no, I normally do like one, maybe two activities a month with like my close little unit. So, $20 ends up being just enough to cover that. And bank is empty and there we go so now this is just gonna go right into my wallet just like that we have my dividers and then we'll go into my binder so I'm actually going to take out the envelopes and kind of bring it back to the OG stuffing of the envelopes instead of having it in the binder as I put it in. I kind of enjoy this a little bit more. So for tithe, we're doing 19. So this is actually empty. So let me just put it here. Yeah, that's good. So we're doing 19. So we have a 10, a 5, and then four ones. So let's just double check. 
10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 for tithe. Boom. Perfect. And then can go right here. Subscriptions. I'm basically replenishing this because I originally had about 50 in here and I have to by the end of this month I'll hopefully have the full 90 that I need for this so we have 15 and we're adding 31 so 20 31 so now let's see where we're at so we now have 20 30 40 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And the goal is 90. So that one is done. Let's just fix these up. Okay. And then now we're entering into my actual sinking funds. I decided to, instead of keeping my sinking funds in a check, in a savings account like I was, I basically have restarted my sinking funds for 2021 and I decided to dedicate my sinking fund savings account to my house down payment. So instead of withdrawing the money for my 52 week or whatever I decide to save towards that actual fund, I'll be having it in my high yield savings account so it could build a little bit of interest. And then once my actual sinking funds that i have in envelope cash form if they start to get a little bit out of hand or i feel uncomfortable with the amount that i'm carrying well that i'm storing at home then i will look into maybe opening up another savings account just for these but i decided to withdraw the money that i had in my bank account and kind of start saving in cash just because i kind of missed that aspect of it so we're kind of we're gonna get back into that and that's what basically this is this money was already in my savings account and i withdrew it so i can put them in their designated envelopes so now that we're all caught up so for car we have 50 so i'm going to put a 50 dollar bill in here for my car this is anything car related whether it's car tags or car maintenance or car wash or any fluids whatever i need for my car comes out of the car fund christmas doesn't have anything yet like i'm starting off the year fresh so i haven't added anything for the new year yet for gifts we have 33 so 20 31 2 3 Michael has 20. Oh, I'm gonna have to make some change. Food. For food. I just switched it out, so now I have 70 in here, which will actually be better because it'll be harder for me to. It'll be harder for me to break the bill when it's big bills like that. So, like I said, my Kel gets 25, which is my boyfriend's sinking fund. I had somebody previously, like uh, many cash stuffings ago, giving me their opinion on why they think having a sinking fund for my boyfriend is not correct. But that's the that's the great thing about personal finance and since that is my personal sinking funds i honestly feel like i can do whatever i want and i feel like it's actually a benefit having an envelope for my boyfriend that i'm committed to and i love to give gifts for now we have medical and that is 25 boom And then my sinking fund will be 20. So this is the newest one that I've added for this year. I used to keep like a spending slash personal envelope in my wallet, but I realized that I would blow that money like it was the end of the world and I had no other option. Instead, I just decided to 
have like a sinking fund that's just labeled my name and then I can kind of decide myself what I want to use this money for but the good thing about this is since I keep them put away in this binder I honestly forget how much I actually have until I sit down and stuff them and take the time to recount that I realize how quickly they're building up so I think that I'll do better having a sinking fund for myself in my sinking funds binder versus having a spending envelope in my wallet that I can see the money every time I take my wallet out and I won't be as tempted because when I see it building up I'm not gonna want to use it and I have a couple nice more expensive things that I like to buy myself and I feel like this will be a nice way to get started on that so starting off small with $20 as you can see, all the money is gone, so that actually wraps up the cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed the cash stuffing, enjoyed the video, enjoyed the little bit of detail behind my sinking funds and like the new systems and things that I'm trying out that I've, I'm tweaking from last year to this year that I feel like will benefit me and help me get a step further in my journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. See you in the next one. Bye!